Hank Camerlingons. Hank Camerlingons, 21 September 1853, 21 February 1926, was a Dutch physicist and Nobel laureate. He exploited the hampson lynn cycle to investigate how materials behave when cooled to nearly absolute zero and later to liquefy helium for the first time in 1908. He also discovered superconductivity in 1911. Biography Early Years Kamerling Ons was born in Groningen, Netherlands. His father, Harm Kamerling Ons, was a brickworks owner. His mother was Anna Jordana Kors of Arnhem. In 1870, Kamerlingons attended the University of Groningen. He studied under Robert Bunsen and Gustav Kirchhoff at the University of Heidelberg from 1871 to 1873. Again, at Groningen, he obtained his master's degree in 1878 and a doctorate in 1879. His thesis was Nieu Luwezen voor de Aswenteling der RTR. New Proofs of the Rotation of the Earth. From 1878 to 1882, he was assistant to Johannes Bostja, the director of the Delft Polytechnic, for whom he substituted as lecturer in 1881 and 1882. Family. He was married to Maria Adriana Wilhelmine Elizabeth Bijge Lavelden, 1887, and had one child, named Albert. His brother Menso Camerlingons, 1860-1925, was a painter and father of another painter, Harm Camerlingons, while his sister Jenny married another painter, Floris Verster, 1861-1927. University of Leiden From 1882 to 1923, Camerlingons served as professor of experimental physics at the University of Leiden. In 1904, he founded a very large cryogenics laboratory and invited other researchers to the location, which made him highly regarded in the scientific community. The laboratory is known now as Kamerling Ons Laboratory. Only one year after his appointment as professor, he became member of the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences. Liquefaction of Helium On 10 July 1908, he was the first to liquefy helium, using several pre-cooling stages and the hampson lind cycle based on the Joule-Thomson effect. This way, he lowered the temperature to the boiling point of helium 269 deg C 4.2 K. By reducing the pressure of the liquid helium, he achieved a temperature near 1.5 K. These were the coldest temperatures achieved on Earth at the time. The equipment employed is at the Museum Boerhaave in Leiden. Superconductivity in 1911, Kamerling Ons measured the electrical conductivity of pure metals mercury and later tin and lead at very low temperatures. Some scientists, such as William Thompson Lord Kelvin, believed that electrons flowing through a conductor would come to a complete halt or, in other words, metal resistivity would become infinitely large at absolute zero. Others, including Kamerling Ons, felt that a conductor's electrical resistance would steadily decrease and drop to nil. Augustus Matheson said that when the temperature decreases, the metal conductivity usually improves, or in other words, the electrical resistivity usually decreases with a decrease of temperature. On 8 April 1911, Kamerling Ons found that, that at 4.2 K the resistance in a solid mercury wire immersed in liquid helium suddenly vanished. He immediately realized the significance of the discovery as became clear when his notebook was deciphered a century later. He reported that mercury has passed into a new state, which on account of its extraordinary electrical properties may be called the superconductive state. He published more articles about the phenomenon, initially referring to it as superconductivity and only later adopting the term superconductivity. Kamerling Ons received widespread recognition for his work, including the 1913 Nobel Prize in Physics, for, in the words of the committee, his investigations on the properties of matter at low temperatures which led, inter alia, to the production of liquid helium. Legacy Some of the instruments Kamerlingons devised for his experiments can be seen at the Boerhaav Museum in Leiden. The apparatus he used to first liquefy helium 
is on display in the lobby of the physics department at Leiden University, where the low temperature lab is also named in his honor. His student and successor as director of the lab, Willem Hendrik Kiesem, was the first person who was able to solidify helium in 1926. The former Kammerlingons Laboratory building is currently the law faculty at Leiden University and is known as Kammerlingons Jebau Kammerlingons Building. The current science faculty has a Kammerlingons Laboratorium named after him, as well as a plaque and several machines used by Kammerlingons in the main hall of the physics department. The Kammerlingons Award was established in his honor, recognizing further advances in low temperature science. The Ong's effect referring to the creeping of superfluid helium is named in his honor. The crater Kamerling Ons on the moon is named after him. Ons is also credited with coining the word enthalpy. Ons's discovery of superconductivity was named in E milestone in 2011. Honors and awards Matuxai Medal 1910, Rumford Medal 1912, Nobel Prize in Physics 1913. Franklin Medal 1915. Selected publications. Kamerling Ons, H. Niubiwesen voor de Swenteling der Aard. Ph.D. dissertation. Groningen, Netherlands, 1879. Kamerling Ons, H. Algemeen theorie der Veloistofen. Amsterdam Aged. Verhandel, 21, 1881. Kamerling Ons, H. On the cryogenic laboratory at Leiden and on the production of very low temperature. Com. Fies. Lab. Univ. Leiden, 14, 1894. Kamerling Ons. H. Theory General de Elitet Fluid. Harlem Arch Film Arch. Neum. 30, 1896. Kamerling Ons. H. Further experiments with liquid helium. C on the change of electric resistance of pure metals at very low temperatures, etc. Roman 4. The resistance of pure mercury at helium temperatures. Com. Fies. Lab. Univ. Leiden. No. 120. 1911. Kamerling Ons. H. Further experiments with liquid helium. D. On the change of electric resistance of pure metals at very low temperatures, etc. V. The disappearance of the resistance of mercury. Com. Fies. Lab. Univ. Leiden. No. 122. 1911. Kamerling Ons. H. Further experiments with liquid helium. G. On the electrical resistance of pure metals, etc. VI. On the sudden change in the rate at which the resistance of mercury disappears. Com. Fies. Lab. Univ. Leiden, No. 124, 1911. Kamerling Ons, H. On the lowest temperature yet obtained. Com. Fies. Lab. Univ. Leiden, No. 159, 1922.